Yo! What's up? It's your boy KSI. I'm back, baby. Back from Seychelles. That's where I was at. Man was having a little holiday. Man was enjoying himself. Had the spa, had a little hike. Managed to finish all the seasons of Stranger Things. Man was chilling on the beach. Had some fun in the sea. Yo! It was nice, it was relaxing, but obviously your boy is back, back to work. <laughs> well, I mean, this isn't work, but training, yes, that's work. I'm training, uh, obviously doing sideband stuff as well, music as well, obviously. Your boy released that song with Heady One and Nines, and it's all oh, play it right now, baby! Oh. Tell me why you started a fire. Yes! Oh, it's burning! Why do I always tell? Tell me why! Why, man? Why you gonna tell my heart? Oh! Leave me in the Oh, the nostalgia! I feel it! It feels like I'm back in the ring! Beef, oh! Even what? if I die, we can continue in our next life. My what? For a hundred k, no SIs. Hey! Go back to the bar. Ah! Oh, okay, anyway, enough, enough, enough. Don't gas me, brother. <laughs> Be sure the stream, the song, as well as the original. But yeah, I've missed about a week of content. So without further ado, it's a Reddit day. Let's see what you lot have been saying. The fuck is this? The fuck is this? King hydration. <laughs> hey, yo, we only got a prime knockoff. <laughs> Unbelievable. What flavor is this? Lemon and lime. Brilliant. Wow. <laughs> Why did you call it King? You should have called it like Peak or something. Something similar to Prime. I guess if you can't get Prime, then <laughs> you get the Prime at home. <laughs> Oh wow, King, unbelievable. That is, that's hilarious. Deji and Jake's hydration drink in the alternate universe. <laughs> <laughs> that's jokes. Give people what they want, JJ. Miniman to short, who should KSI fight next? All right, so we've got Tommy Fury on 13%. Okay, we've got Slim on 3%. Okay, Austin McBroom on 8%. Talia Ma on 77%. Guys, I, I don't know about this. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll beat the fuck out of her. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. Yo, nah, bro. Relax, <laughs> relax. Bro, I've never hit a woman. Shut up. <laughs> don't even try to come at me, bro. I've had <laughs> tough ass parents, okay? Imagine me trying to touch my mom. <laughs> I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. Anyway, no. <laughs> this is not happening. <laughs> what the hell? It's unfair though. Talia has more MMA <laughs> type experience than boxing. What do you, what do you mean? MMA experience, mini mints is anus. Hey, you say Simon's a cuck. <laughs> Alright, anyway. <laughs> uh, the curse got another person before JJ broke it. The whole what? What's this? Ah, uh, this this press conference. I enjoyed it so much, man. It was so funny. And um, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna shock the world. Can no one thinks I will win. Bro, my face. Oh no, we gotta get a reload of that. We gotta get a reload of that. <laughs> And um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna shock the world. No one thinks I'm there like, oh no, he's done it. He said it. Oh, 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 literally in less than 20 seconds, dropped. I think I'm gonna shock the world. Uh, bro, that's why the curse didn't work because Andy decided to fucking say it before me and <laughs> God slept. Do it. Jesus. I'm coming. Like, if you're gonna murder you, bro. <laughs> 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 Nah, screw Canada. I'm gonna pen you over, don't pop me, and no one will fucking stop me. One L. <laughs> uh, will it be fine again? I have no idea. <laughs> what is this photo? Yeah, look, I don't know what it is as well. I just look super sus, don't I, bro? I'm there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Why was this released? I wouldn't have said, said yesterday. Love my ass on Vic 4 to professional boxer before J4. <laughs> I mean, the whole, the whole side went in. Uh, go on. Look at the pitch. Oh, mate. Look, look, at yeah. look, at this, look at this. Look at this technique from Vic. He's controlling Is he the orthodox? Southport? No one knows. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Look at this. Oh, go on, Vic. Go on, Vic. Oh, look at the. Speed! He's like, I'm here, come <laughs> JJ wanted a piece of Andrew Tate. What's this face mean? What are you trying to do? Andrew Tate! 
What is that emoji? I want a piece of that. Hey, yo. Wait, is that Andrew? What is going on? Hey, yo. Hey, yo, I didn't know Andrew moved like that. Andrew trying to mesmerize me before we fight, bro. <laughs> I mean, if you want to beat me, if you're moving that batty like that, fam, then chest too. <laughs> you're moving that bundle. <laughs> It's every punchy, aren't we fisted? Yeah, nah, that's mad. Aye, yo, chill. What is going on, man? Brett footage of Andrew Tate busting it down, man. I don't want to see any more of that, please. Let's not do this. <laughs> Things that have cost JJ the most money. Bitcoin. Uh, not even Bitcoin. I didn't even put my money in Bitcoin. Luna. Luna fucked me. <laughs> but anyway, I guess that cryptocurrency, yeah, fine. Uh, Lamborghini, uh, yeah, that was quite a lot of money. My chain, yep, <laughs> did cost a lot of money. I think it cost more than the Lamborghini. <laughs> Uh, was it worth it? 100% <laughs> Yes And uh, ha ha Oh mate I've definitely lost over what 100,000 thanks to this guy Or maybe 50k Either way it's a lot of money A lot of fucking money And I met him Great guy It's September And now JJ can earn From his second channel Hey yo This is the first video That I'm actually earning money <laughs> The first video in how many years I'm actually earning money. I'm gassed. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> after so many years of me just making content for no reason. <laughs> I was literally just doing it for the sake of doing it. What a psycho. <laughs> What's wrong with me? There's literally no gain. <laughs> now I'm making revenue. Now on my Floyd Mayweather shit. Call me Money KSI now. <laughs> So for people wondering, in the previous contract with his music label, the label would claim money from all of his videos until September. From now on, he will be able to earn from his videos. I'll show you, I'll show you like my account. And, uh, but yeah, look, copyright claim on all my videos. Oh, they forgot this one. It doesn't matter, I still don't care anything. <laughs> Oh, I know why they couldn't claim this one because um, <laughs> Atlantic claimed this. <laughs> because it's just me reacting to my music video, which is Atlantic. So, yeah. <laughs> A good question for JJ to think about. Put a little call out here to like fellow creators and even JJ. Like, ooh, you want to re-platform this guy? Anyone? You want to have him on your shows? You wanna you wanna give him another opportunity to speak and and and, and spread his agenda? Because I was like, who are we talking about? I imagine this is Andrew Tate. Okay. Whether you believe it or not, the shit that Andrew Tate is saying will have a ripple effect much more dangerous than you can imagine, because his narrative is truly hateful. His rhetoric has extreme negative energy in it, and it will affect impressionable young people in a way that will not show until years from now. And it is dangerous. Oh, 100%. But like, I would derail all of that if I knock him out. How can he be seen as a top G if I've <laughs> beaten him in the ring? <laughs> you call yourself a top G, but you got beat by a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, you're this top alpha, but you got beat by me. <laughs> Literally, all his fans wouldn't know what to fucking do. Don't malfunction. They'll be like, fuck, our king, our messiah has been defeated. What do we do now? <laughs> We can't support you anymore. <laughs> but I, I do find it funny that Andrew Tate is just saying so much stupid shit, especially towards me and trying to attack my businesses, trying to attack everything <laughs> about me. <laughs> but when it comes down to actually fighting, uh, silence. <laughs> So I made a vintage comic book cover of JJ versus Landry Lake. I think he would love it. Yeah, fantastic. This is, I love it. KSI is in his prime. Ha ha. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, I know this is completely random. I mean, it's kind of related, but like, who would I actually like to fight? I don't think there's someone I would want to fight. I just want to fight. <laughs> I think I was annoyed that my last fight just wasn't competitive. It's annoying because I still had so much more to show. Obviously, there's only so much you can do in three rounds. I'm there like, ah, oh, fuck. I have to just try and do as much as I can in three rounds. Like, after I was fighting swarms and I was just following in and I'm trying to knock him out. And then one round went, I was like, oh shit, I only have two rounds left. <laughs> 
And then with Pineda as well, I was like, oh wow, two rounds have gone. And we're in the third round. I need to finish him off. Normally I'm used to six rounds or maybe even more. But yeah, obviously I've got options. The winner of Gibb versus uh, McBroom. Obviously I'd love to fuck up Austin McBroom. Finally just shot him up for, for good. Never fighting Alex Wasabi. The only time I'm fighting Alex Wasabi is I'm going to spar with him. Andrew Tate would love to slap the shit out of him and beat the shit out of him as well. Tommy Fury, he's always another one who's just there as a good warm up to then beat Jake Paul. Thing is, I feel like I beat all of them. <laughs> But I'm gonna say that because I'm me and I know what I can do. <laughs> Literally everyone I face feels my power and goes, no, nah, fuck this shit, I'm out. And they're running. And then I, obviously I'm, I need to learn to close down the ring better. I thought my brothers would fight me. <laughs> I can't lie. Especially the profile, but it is what it is. Anyway, nah. If someone ratios me, I'll delete my Twitter. Goodbye, Gideon. <laughs> Bro, this George guy, he shows everyone. Don't know who he is, but he, he's goated. No, but seriously though, what is Josh up to? Girls having sleepover, me who pretends to be gay. Josh, Josh, look at you, bro. Is that you with all the girl them, yeah? <laughs> I see you, Tommy T. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> Tommy T skills. Yeah, you know what? That's all we need to see. Someone please tell me this is fake. There's no way their power is comparable. Love JG, but he's never knocked someone out. Only T KO'd people. It's dangerous, bro. Case that compares himself to a heavyweight KO king, Deontay Wilder, after winning two fights in one night. Okay, look. I said I feel like I'm Wilder. Okay, I didn't say I'm Wilder. <laughs> but also, Wilder fights people who fight him. <laughs> Wilder's opponents don't run away. It's hard to knock out someone that isn't trying to fight you. <laughs> Trust me. Or maybe I just need to improve on that. I said I was, I feel like I'm like Wilder. Fucking hell, bro. <laughs> I can't even say I'm like someone anymore. It's just the simile, guys. <laughs> it's not that deep. <laughs> what do you think could be quite solid? Misfit January card. Kiss that versus Tommy Fury. Local Paul versus Dylan Dallas. JMX. JMX is so random. I'd love to see JMX fight, but not Logan Paul. What? Nah, JMX gotta earn it, bro. We haven't seen him fight in, in so long. Gideon versus Joella. I mean, Joella's not gonna do that. He's a pussy. Uh, Deji versus Bryce Hall. I'd love to see that fight. That'd be great. Gibb versus Slim. That's also a very good fight. Soul Pappy versus Dean the Great. What? That just can't happen. Do you guys not know how weight works? <laughs> Salt, Pap, and Dean the Great are just in completely different weight classes. This, no. Jarvis versus, again, that just, this won't work. <laughs> These guys are in completely different weight classes. Vinny Hacker is already like skinny as it is, or like shredded as it is. For him to be at Jarvis's weight, brother, he'd have to be anorexic. <laughs> What are we doing? No. But yeah, no, interesting card. Interesting card. I'm not going to say anything because obviously you guys are going to try and get something out of me. So I ain't saying nothing. All right, just wait. How Pineda felt during the fight? Right hook. <laughs> Left hook. Jab. Body shot. <laughs> Body shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Even this guy would beat Pineda. Look, Pineda is not bad, guys. Look, yes, this guy, this kid is very good. Very skillful. Yes. But no, Pineda would destroy him. Guys, what are we doing? Pineda is not shit. Pineda is not shit. I'm just better than him. <laughs> I just made him look shit. I bet you if Pineda fought another YouTuber, I don't know, fucking Kavos. Cavill was piping up, being like, oh yeah, I'd destroy Pineda. This, that, you know, Pineda was shit, this, is that, that. I bet you if Cavos fought Pineda, Pineda would destroy Cavos, okay? I do not see Cavos beating Pineda in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> I just don't see it. Pineda is not bad. I saw Pineda, I saw, yeah, I saw some of his amateur fights, I saw his pro fights, and I was like, okay, this guy can bang, he's got good reach, he's got a good left body, and all this and all of that. I hit him once, and bro, all this, everything went out the fucking window, man. And he just shot himself. Why is this porn star trying to stop beef with JJ? Uh, I put, in terms of interest, social media and mainstream presence and how much people care if they fight in the crossover boxing scene, my top 15. Actually, I thought this was quite an interesting take. And yeah, it pissed off a lot of people for some reason. <laughs> Bro, this wasn't even like <laughs> in order. This was just my top 15 of people who I think people are interested to see fight. I guess people, they saw me at the top and they were like, oh yeah, he's put himself at number one. He just thinks he's the shit, what a dickhead. <laughs> but yeah, no, I was like, KSI, 
or me, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Andrew Tate, Deji, Tommy Fury, Idobs. People were like, Idobs, why is Idobs there? I was like, guys, stop living in your own fucking bubble. Idobs had his own event against Suck to Mike and sold out an arena, did over 100,000 pay per views. Jake Paul didn't fucking do that. So. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then, yeah, Gibbs, Slim, Dylan Dennis, Austin McBroom, Woodley, Dr. Mike, Soul Piper, and King Henry. I was like, these are people that would be interested in seeing them fight. And then, yeah, you know, I had a few people being like, what the fuck is this list? Also, I just can't be asked to fucking explain everything that I say on Twitter. MMA fighter? I, I've never heard of him in my life. But this guy was like, I'm so tired of these lists of fake fighters minus Woodley. And I was like, first of all, that's super cringe because Woodley got knocked out by a fake fighter. <laughs> what does that mean? But anyway, I put cringe reply because it was extremely cringe. And then Kendra lost. I don't even know who this is. What's cringe is you have your background pick of you boxing like you're a boxer. Well, I am a boxer because I, I went in the ring and boxed. I, what are you talking about? Don't be mad when you get called out by a fighter. What does that mean? I've been called out by people who fight and I've won. <laughs> Is Kendra lost uh, a porn star? Let me, let me, let me, let me do some research. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, okay. Damn. I mean, I guess you could say she also took on two guys in one night. <laughs> Don't know if she won though. <laughs> I think she took a beating. <laughs> Uh, why hasn't KSI boxing record on BoxRec been updated? Because BoxRec did not sanction my fight or the Boxing Commission didn't sanction my fight. We had to use PBA to sanction my fight. If I'm being real, BoxRec and all these boxing commissions, they hate the whole YouTube boxing scene. They hate it. They're like the Eddie Hearn <laughs> of boxing. They see it and they, they despise it. They don't mind profiting from it, <laughs> but they fucking hate it. <laughs> So yeah, to them, they're not gonna count it, but who cares? We have our own, we've created our own. Boom, look at this, ytboxrec.com, all right? If you want to see a, a website that actually gives a fuck about YouTubers boxing, just go here. Boom, fighters, you got me, KSI, and boom, there we go. <laughs> Four wins uh, with three KOs and one draw. And they care about every fight that I've done, from Joe Weller to Logan Paul, to Swarms, to Panetta. Who cares about box rec anyway? A lot of the boxing purists literally are always just shitting on YouTube boxing. So it's like, all right, cool. We're just gonna do our own thing. And they're still shitting on it. And it's like, guys, we're not even saying anything about you. Why do you keep hating on us? <laughs> I guess they hate the idea that maybe getting more views or more attention than actual boxing, whatever that means. But I mean, that's on them. But anyway, it is what it is. Who cares about box rec? Look at ytboxrec.com. Happy days. I think they're still always updating more people, but Mubroom. Okay, we got Mubroom. Look at him. One KO, and that was against Bryce Hall. Look at that. Like, it's a beautiful website. Harry praying for Panetta after the knockdown. <laughs> Bro. Oh my God. I, Panetta was terrified, bro. He was just terrified about that fight, man. Andrew training for the fight against JJ. Let's see his technique. Nah, he's taking a piss. What is this? What? Nah, this isn't this. For, oh my god. This is. No, honestly, no, like, no, let's be serious. Swarms was better than this, I'm sorry. And the thing is, his audience thinks, <laughs> his audience thinks, Andrew Tate would destroy me. <laughs> yes, when it comes to kickboxing, yes, he would annihilate me. Trust me, I know he's been to shoot fires, okay? <laughs> I know what he can do. But bro, when it comes to the boxing king, <laughs> Ethan's dad when Ethan was born.
Nice. Funny. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, this has been your boy KSI. It's not over yet. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. And uh, actually, before I also say goodbye, uh, I'm going on tour. I'm doing the European tour. It starts tomorrow. If I don't upload for a while, it's because I'm on tour. <laughs> So yeah, I've got a European tour, but I would have recorded a few videos today just to make sure you guys have something while I'm away. Bye, peace. <laughs>